Pence is describing the morale among staffers. Amid the turmoil, White House... Do you sometimes wish you could take a break from all the troubling world and national news? Reconnecting with nature might be just the right therapy for modern times. And one of the best ways to learn about nature is to jot down simple observations in your own journal. But where do you even start? How did someone like Bernd Heinrich come to know so much about nature? Yeah, I've been uh, taking notes of nature since I was a kid. I don't know if there's any particular reason for it at first, but I always like to be able to predict what's going to happen next. Once I wrote down, I could compare because my memory is not that good. I mean, I can, uh, uh, and, and I've got uh, better things to do with my memory uh, than, than uh, remembering everything because I want to have uh, some attention space left to do things now. You know, my, my journal is my, my artificial memory. It's my, uh, what that keeps my mind open for, for doing other things. It's easy to make your own journal for free. Just draw a table with the days of the year across the top and different years down the side. You're much more likely to stick with your journal if you keep it nearby. Keep your notes brief and don't feel guilty when you're too busy to write. Record whatever interests you, the weather, flowers in your garden, a caterpillar about to pupate, shelf fungi on a rotting tree. Learning to be a naturalist is mainly a matter of being attentive. This applies to just about anything um, at all with respect to birds coming back, uh, plants flowering, and so on. There's so much story behind uh, any phenomenon that you happen to look at. Finally, don't be afraid to get intimate with nature. Scrutinize it, touch it. Smell it, listen to it, and have fun exploring nature in your own backyard.